हेलो गाइस यू मस्ट हैव सीन दिस स्लाइड इन द प्रीवियस लिंक व्हाट इज कंकॉर्डेंस इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड इन लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन वेल विद दिस वीडियो आई होप इट वोंट बी वेरी डिफिकल्ट नाउ टेक्निकली स्पीकिंग a pair is called concordant if the probability of one in case of one is more than probability of one in case of zero it is very difficult to understand this technical language so here we are with a very simple example for you you must have seen this too now let's say there are two students in a school student a and student b suppose their parents went to school and asked for their feedback from their class teacher now class teacher replied in terms of their probability of passing class teacher said the prop the probability of passing for student a is 0.9 and that of student b is 0.3 so even by a common sense you can say that student a is going to pass and student b will fail right but why did we think about it as i have written because somewhere back of your mind you are thinking the cut off probability as 0.5 so whenever we say anything has got probability of more than 0.5 it would happen and whenever it is less it won't and suppose the probability is 0.5 it's a 50 50 situation right let's forget this cut off of 0.5 suppose we don't know there is a cut off of 0.5 just think let's reprogram our mind with the assumption that there is no cut off of 0.5 now when teacher told the uh, probability of passing of student a is 0.9 and that of student b is 0.3 we compare the probability of these two students and we say as the probability of student a is more than that of student b probability of passing then we can reduce student a will pass and student b will fail right but i know you are still thinking about 0.5 cut off probability so let's take it with another example now teacher said the probability of passing for student a is 0.9 and that for student b is only 0.8 it's not only it's 0.8 it's very high right now what would you think i know you are going to think that both student a and b will pass but remember we have already forgotten the cut off of 0.5 right so now why will compare the probabilities of passing of student a and student b we would say student a will pass but student b will fail right i know you must be thinking even at point a probability of passing would be fail you are not believing me right actually there is nothing absolutely right or wrong right it's a very difficult concept to digest right but that's how we consider in terms of concordance let's try to think this way for a few minutes right definitely taking 0.5 cut off is not wrong but that is used while we use classification matrix here we th think relatively right the way we have seen the example now let's see how it calculates concordance with a video 
suppose there are six observations out of six three are events and three are non events one is event and zero is non event now initially in logistic regression it calculates the number of pairs so as there are three number of events and three number of non events it will make nine pairs now it will take the pairs probability one by one right so it will make first pair and will pick their probability now this probability is of one this is probability of event one when we compare the probability of one in case of one with that with the probability of one in case of zero we see probability of one in case of one is higher then probability of 1 in case of 0 so considering the previous example of student with probability 0.9 will pass but probability 0.8 will fail this is a situation of 1 0 hence it is a concording pair this is again concording pair concording pair in this situation you see the probability of 1 in case of 1 is lower than probability of 1 in case of 0 however it is well above 0.5 but remember the 0.5 cut cut off criteria is not considered here so it would be a discount discordant pair again concordant concordant discordant it's a tie situation where probability of 1 in case of 1 is equal to probability of 1 in case of 0 we can't conclude anything hence it's a tight pair so all the pairs have been judged now as we can see in the concordant bucket we have six observations in discordant we have two observations and in tied we have one observation out of 9 six are in concordant so we can say it is 66.67% concordance 2 by 9 that is around 18% discordant and rest is in tight i hope this helps in understanding concept of concordance better thank you stay tuned with ask analytics